What's up everyone, this is Jared. Uh, a little while ago I reviewed an awesome pair of all metal earphones from GGM and I was blown away with the quality for the price they were charging. Well, they sent me their M4 speaker and I think it's probably the nicest speaker to come through my door. All right, so let's check this out. First of all, it's wrapped in microfiber leather with what I'm assuming is aluminum rings around the speakers with plastic on the top and bottom along with some nice thick rubber feet and a two position adjustable stitched leather strap. On the back there's two passive woofer ports, auxiliary and power ports, as well as a reset button. Back to the top where our volume control and power buttons are located, we've also got a bass boost mode and a connection mode button so that we can connect via Bluetooth, uh, auxiliary and even over Wi-Fi which allows for up to 16 devices to be connected as well as multi-room playback with multiple M4s paired together which is pretty awesome. It comes with a clean continuous playback battery life of around 8 hours but of course that'll vary depending on the volume level and what connection mode you're using. Uh, it also packs Kevlar speakers to help prevent distortion and a Wolfson DAC for some dope audio. And since we're on the topic, yes, this thing sounds awesome. It's probably the best sounding speaker I've reviewed. Uh, I really, really like the UE Mega Boom. It's probably my favorite speaker I have. I also really like the Fugu XL, but man, even though this thing isn't waterproof, it sounds so much better than the others. I wouldn't say it has a biased audio profile for any one genre of music. It's just really well balanced and it gets really loud too. Like you'll have no issues filling a large room with enough music where you couldn't hear each other talking. But when you want some more punch in the lows, hit that bass boost button and you'll notice the difference, making certain genres of music really come alive. But just be careful with some bass heavy rap songs because it might muddy up the lows a tad. All that being said, I still love my UE Mega Boom the most because of its sheer durability and water resistance, and it can still get loud and sounds good, but when you compare the price of the Mega Boom to that of the $180 price tag and superior audio quality of the M4, if you can keep in mind this is a luxury type speaker that's neither quite as durable or waterproof like the more expensive alternatives, then I'd say don't even think twice, just go with the M4. Now I'll have an Amazon link to pick this up for yourself in the description below, but that about does it for this one. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.